Hi, I'm Natasha and I'm a second year medical student. Um, I came here today as a part of my student selected component, which was Optimum Health for Later Life. Um, I just found the event really enjoyable because um, well, we had an interactive laughter yoga session, which I didn't even know existed. So that was really cool. Why isn't everyone doing that? Um, and also certain bits about, for instance, the kitchen on prescription was very interesting because nutrition plays such a major role in so many diseases that we learn about, yet on our medical course we get very little training about nutrition basically and I think that would like to be on this SSC has been like exposed me to so much um, and I've just come away with so much information um, that I need to go and assimilate now um, and it's just been a very nice experience and yeah. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Bristol. Um, I found out about this talk from my tutor, Dr. Dr. Still. Um, I found the talk really interesting. It really enhanced our curriculum from a medical school perspective and went beyond that. Um, integrative medicine is not something that we're traditionally taught about. And I think it's something I'd really like to integrate into my practice when I become a doctor. Um, and I thought the whole was really enjoyable. It's not every day as a medical student, you get to walk into the parks in Bristol and laugh and count it as learning, but it was a brilliant experience. Hi, good evening. I'm Ken, a GP from Southampton. I'm really pleased to be here today at this function organised by the Portland Integrated Centre for Integrative Medicine. Um, it's been really an eye-opener to be with so many people who are like-minded. Um, the first thing that caught my attention about today and that made me decide to come here today is about the topic which is integrated medicine in cardiology or cardiovascular health and so there's been a lot of controversy about um, you know nutrition the role of um, fats and the various viewpoints about various types of fats so I thought I'll be able to learn a bit more about what the role of nutrition is and be able to confidently say to the different people that I meet as to what they should be doing with their diets and how they could change their cardiovascular health that way. So one of the things that really stood out for me today is how the program was run. The whole day was run very differently from other study courses that I've been to, starting with a poem reading, which was really refreshing and different. And the quality speakers that they brought in, very, very outstanding. So I've been very pleased to be a part of this movement today and I'll definitely be attending many more of the courses here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kate Rouse. Um, I'm a registered Western medical herbalist. Um, I came along today um, because I've always been interested um, in the work of the College of Medicine and integrative health. Um, it was lovely to come today and see so many um, GPs engaging in this. Um, it was wonderful also to see the content of the lectures um, and see that so much of it um, represented everything that herbalists have been striving to do and learning about and studying and practicing um, for many, many years. Um, and it's really encouraging to think that we can all start to work together on this um, and be so much stronger for it. Um, so it was a very affirming uh, day and uh, I really look forward to more and more bridges being built. Thank you. So my name is Terry and I'm a GP, I work locally in Bristol and I um, came along today because I was feeling a bit demoralised with how GP is at, at the moment, we're under quite a lot of pressure, um, quite a lot of stress and I found that a lot of the advice I was giving my patients was starting to sound a bit empty because I was talking about diet and exercise and relaxation but I wasn't really doing any of it myself. Um, and so I thought I'd come along today to try and think about some of those principles to apply in my own life but also so that when I'm advising my patients I sound a bit more genuine. So I've learnt a lot and I've come, a lot, come away with some ideas about things like Tai Chi that I would never have thought of recommending to my patients. 
I've learnt about some good resources like the DASH diet that I can look up online and maybe sign patient, signpost patients to in the future. Um, overall it's been a really good day, I'm glad I've come and I look forward to seeing what else that they have on, on offer in the future. Um, I'm James, I'm a second year medical student um, studying at the University of Bristol. I came here today as part of uh, an optional unit that we do. Um, I chose to do um, optimal health in later life and it's essentially it's looking at ways to be more holistic with medical practice. So it's really nice to kind of deviate away from the biomedical side of things and look more at the psychosocial as we've seen here today. And it's just been such a fantastic experience to you know, talk to loads of different professionals about it and have a little experiment ourselves on some of the practices that they've been doing. Um, yeah, it's been a really fun day and yeah, definitely gonna take a, away quite a few things from this, um, from this event today. Um, yeah, it's been good fun. I'm Roy Welford, I'm a semi-retired GP, mainly retired, but still in active practice to, to a limited extent. Um, I've been connected with the homeopathic hospital for many, many, many years, but it's lovely seeing this transition into the, and being here at the first day of the Portland Centre uh, for the integrated medicine and seeing the training and everything that's going on. It's been a great, af great afternoon. It seemed to have been paced very well with a... Um, with the right amount of sort of intellectual content, the right amount of body work, and, the, and also appealing to the heart. So it's been some wonderful speakers. I think for me, the best thing, apart from just making a few connections with old friends, um, the, uh, which was very valuable, the good things that I've taken out today really is some of the nutritional information, an aspect that um, I'm really interested in, and also um, the the, the talk that Boris gave that was full of really good, pithy, practical, helpful stuff and the general sense that, you know, there's very much still a good part for this to play. Um, I, I was very involved in it in my practice in Glastonbury trying to set up an integrated care model and it's great that there is a, 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 something's happening here in Bristol with every prospect for success. So I'm really pleased to be here. Hello, uh, my name's Will. I am a fairly newly qualified GP working in Bristol and um, I came here today because in my career I'm becoming more and more aware of the limitations of a traditional medical model in how to deal with many of the patients who come to see me. Uh, and um, I wanted to come along and find out how I can learn better to try and help them to take better control of their own health and I think that today helped achieve that. Um, I got a lot out of today, there were many things about it I enjoyed, um, not least uh, learning about uh, the um, Bristol uh, kitchen prescribing project uh, but also stuff such as the uh, greater explanation on how the science of uh, integrative um, uh, medicine um, links with uh, the actual approach and I thought that tied up really nicely with the um, uh, patient uh, session that came afterwards and how linking that all up um, uh, showed us how it worked together uh, to provide better patient care. So uh, yeah I thought it was great and uh, I really think that more people should know generally about integrated medicine because really when you look at it it's pretty much common sense as well as all the other evidence-based stuff that's emerging at the moment. So hi there, my name's Sophie. I'm um, still training to be a GP in Bristol. Um, I came along today because I think a lot of the training for doctors and GPs in particular is at the moment based a lot around um, traditional kind of Western medicine. Um, and I think there's definitely a place to learn uh, about different styles of approaching health problems. Um, and that's why I want to learn a bit more about integrative medicine. I actually got caught up at work, as we often do in this profession, and only managed to make it for the last half, well, last hour of the day. But what hit me as I came in the room was a real sense of warmth and a lot of healthcare professionals that seemed really happy and um, 
almost felt like everyone knew each other already um, from spending half a day together, which is very different to a lot of the time when you get healthcare professionals in a room. They often feel quite downtrodden um, from the job. Um, so I think that was really important to see that, that whatever was went on early on in the day, uh, you know, really came across in a positive way to everyone. So what I'll take away is I want to learn more and maybe turn up to the rest of the <laughs> events on time. Um, but also that I really want to start to put this into practice because I think Western traditional medicine has its limitations, especially in an NHS which is struggling to fund even some of the basic forms of treatment. So I would really like to take this further in my practice and I hope that I'll be able to. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bryony, I'm a second year medical student and this year we have a student selected component called Optimum Health and Later Life and that's what's brought me um, here today. Um, it's been a great afternoon, really, really inspiring. It's, it's been probably the main thing for me was to see lots of other general practitioners, doctors, physicians, homeopaths talking about the things that I'm excited about to help sort of change the shape of future healthcare. Um, it's sort of recognising that I'm not alone in thinking that things have to be changed, that um, the, there's so many other approaches that have scientific basis behind them to help cure some of the major diseases that we've got in the UK and in the world. And it's really exciting to see that there's lots of people that are potentially behind this movement and that changes can be made. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really inspiring afternoon and hopefully we'll be able to take some of these things forwards. And when I'm a doctor in the future, I hope to be able to implement these things and see the changes being made for public healthcare. Hi, I'm Jill, I'm a doctor and I work in the NHS and I actually work in um, a place, a hospital where they do integrated medicine. I came here today because um, I try to help patients who are overweight, um, I try to help them to lose weight and with that you do need an overall approach that encompasses lots of things. Um, I particularly like some of the practical things that I learnt today and in particular um, I learned a breathing technique that you can do in a few minutes to reduce stress, even chronic stress and I also particularly like the Tai Chi session um, which gave I've never done before and actually I, I think I might actually take up myself because I found it um, really enjoyable so that's, that's what I got out of today.